Here's how to turn on and use a cheap e-bike controller. I have a couple of them here. This is an M5 one and this is a key disp one. They're the controllers that you'll see on a lot of cheap e-bikes. So not the cheap is bad, but they're just your basic controllers and you'll, you'll find a lot of these out in the wild. So here's how you turn on and operate your e-bike with one of these. So on bikes with these controllers, there's no you know on off thing that secures it. Basically to turn it on, you hold the power button down, which is in the middle. And then that turns the bike on. And then up in this box here are your pedal modes. So pedal mode one, two, or three. Some of them have more than three modes. So you wanna go all the way up just to see how many they are. And obviously each one gives you more assist. And then if you crank it all the way down to zero, there's no assist, but the speedometer stays on and you can use the headlight and things. Um, on this one and a lot of them, the plus button, if you hold it down, then the headlight will come on. You see a little headlight icon right there. And then you hold it down again if you want to turn the headlight off. And then usually if you quick punch the power button, like you can see the odometer here in miles, and then you can see a trip odometer, and then riding time, and then watts of power. And that's really about it. You just use the up and down plus buttons to give it the amount of assist that you need. And then when you're ready to turn it off, you just hold the power button down and it's off. So this is the M5 controller. And on this one, it's got a remote switch system. So there's power on here. They hold that down and the power comes on. And then there's a plus and a minus button. So this one starts at pedal assist zero and it always goes back down to zero every time you turn it off. And then you push the button to bring it up to three. But like I said, some of these have five modes. So don't stop at three the first time you use it. Try and go all the way up and see how many there are. And then zero is just regular pedaling. This one has a remote headlight switch on it. Some of these, you, you push the plus button, depending on the controller, to get a headlight. And then this one's got its own dedicated headlight button here that you use to turn it on and off. This one's got a horn. And uh, then you slow push the power button to rotate through trip odometer. I don't know what volume is. Uh, that's how much current. So if you want to see how much power your engine's putting out, that's your motor's putting out. That's where that is. There's a timer your, that shows your ride time. And then there's the overall odometer. So pretty simple, but that's how these things work. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe.